Hi everyone, welcome to my presentation. My name is Hussein Ali S. I am studying at Cardenas Technical University. After second international web conference on forecasting, we are also together with third conference. This time my work is titled as Comparison of direct and iterative break prediction models for natural gas demand. In my presentation plan, I will give brief information about importance of natural gas and general situation in Turkey. After I speak to the motivation of the work, I will finish the presentation with the utilized method, application and conclusion. Although natural gas has been known by people for many years, its widespread use in energy and heating purposes began in Europe in the 1960s. The demand for natural gas has increased as a result of factors such as industrialization, urbanization and rapid population growth after especially 1980s. The consumption for natural gas which stands out among other types of energy with its high efficiency, ease of use and environmental friendliness is still increasing. Total natural gas consumption in the world is about 303,000 million tons oil equivalent. Natural gas has importance for Turkey which increases the use of natural gas in heating as well as development in the industrial and economic areas. Looking at the developments in Turkey, the natural gas consumption is about 41 MTOE and increased by 240% between 2000 and 2018. Its use for electricity production, industry, heating, etc. The highest share of Turkey's total natural gas consumption belongs to electricity production. It's approximately half of the total natural gas consumption. In addition, the growth of Turkish economy occurred as 6% on an average annual real GDP growth rate between 2004 and 2017. Also, the population of Turkey is constantly increasing. It reached to about 81 million people in 2017. Turkey has poor natural gas. It imports 99% of its natural gas consumption, so it needs reliable and robust natural gas forecasting. A correct estimation of natural gas consumption will not only eliminate natural gas supply demand imbalance. It will also positively affect the investment to be made in the sector and the agreements and gas purchase. In addition, stability in energy supply is important for the steady growth of national economies. In this context, it is necessary to predict future energy needs accurately and reliably. The motivation of the study is also to guide government officials and decision makers in the future production consumption and investment decisions. Looking at the territory survey, many estimation methods have, have been discussed about energy demand. There are a lot of studies including statistical models, artificial intelligence like artificial neural network, fuzzy logic, and heuristic methods such as support vector machine. 
Each estimation method can present different results according to the problem structure. Although each method has a different advantage, there is no absolute superiority of any method between themselves. You can see here some studies related to natural gas forecast forecasting. Although different methods have been applied to the forecasting of the natural gas demand, the number of papers is comparatively small. The estimation method used in the study is gray prediction. It's a part of Gray's stem theory and stands out with its ability to make make successful prediction with limited data. One of the commonly used gray prediction techniques is GM11. It points out a first order single variable prediction model in a time series. It has three steps as follows accumulated generation operation, gray modeling, immerse accumulated generation operation. In phase 1 of basic GM11, X0 is a non negative sequence and N is the number of data. X1 key is obtained with some formulation. X1 represents a sequence which is monotonically increasing. In phase 2, gray differential equation is set up. If equations write as a type of matrix, the parameters called as development and driving coefficients are calculated. The calculation of the equation is like this. Finally, in the phase 3, the differential equation represents the whitenization process. By using obtained parameters, the echo gray prediction model is calculated. The equation is given at the bottom. Gray iterative forecasting approach runs the principle of a rolling mechanism. The approach firstly predicts the value of next first period. By using to obtain prediction value of the next first period, the value of the next second period is predicted. The cycle repeats the operation stated in the second step until desirable prediction value period is obtained. The gray forecasting model is based on the usage of past real observations. In order to forecast age future periods ahead, the approach selects the past observation values from the present time to k periods backward by in average periods. The prediction performance of GM11 is related to, to development and driving parameters. For this reason, the best value of these parameters is investigated by experiments. Additional information can be taken from the full table of the study. In the application of the study, the used data on Turkey's natural gas consumption is yearly taken from EP report. Data includes between 1990 and 2018. The data for 1986-2011 is used for education and the data for 2012-2018 is utilized for testing purposes. The data is shown in the figure. When the graphic is analyzed, it is observed that there is an increasing trend. In the study, in order to compare the success of iterative and direct gray prediction models, 
three performance criteria are construed. The most important of these mean absolute percentage error. Successful prediction is the one with lower values of all performance measures. If mean absolute percentage error is less than 10%, it's accepted as a successful prediction. Parameters of GM11 is optimized by using the data in the education set. The best parameters are obtained. Then, iterative and direct prediction models are analyzed with the optimized parameters for the test set. The success of these models is determined according to performance criteria. The performance values of the models are given in table. The direct grade prediction model provides more successful results as seen in the table. For this reason, the forecasting of third case natural gas demand is done via the direct grade prediction model. The direct grade prediction model is usually expected to give more successful results than the iterative one. As expected, the direct model has yield better result than the iterative model for natural gas demand. Therefore, Turkey's natural gas demand is forecasted by the direct model. All prediction result of the model for both sets and the forecasting period is summarized in figure. As seen in figure, the forecasting values are pretty close to actual values in the education set. There has been a fluctuation in the last stage of the education set and test set. Therefore, the estimation values of the model cannot capture the real values at some points. However, since mean absolute value in the test set is less than 10%, it can be said that a successful estimation model has been established. To sum up, in this study, the direct and iterative grade prediction models have considered in order to forecast the natural gas demand of Turkey. By utilizing the data for education and test sets, and the result of the two models were compared. According to performance criteria, the direct model has presented more successful result. Therefore, the forecasts up to the year 2027 have performed by the direct model. The obtained forecasting results have been brought to the attention of the energy sector stakeholders and relevant government agencies to help determine energy policies. In future studies, the grave forecasting models based on the cause-effect relationship can be studied in order to increase the predictive success. In this phase, the fluctuation in natural gas data may be predicted more successfully. Thanks for your attention.